friend. Rachel, how are you? A lot better, my dear. Had you were sick and decided to come. Thanks, my dear. What is the matter with you? May fever. I don't think so, Rachel. You look stressed. My dear, I'm stressed. Sylvia wants to kill me. God forbid. Sylvia won't kill you. What happened? She has been dating Caleb's business partner. And Caleb found out. I don't think he wants to marry Sylvia anymore. Oh no, this is bad. She's making all my efforts I have made useless. I'm sorry, dear. Things will fall in place, I assure you. I can't believe this. So all this while, I was living with Miriam. But why can't I remember anything? I can't remember when I told her to pack in. I can't even remember when I promised her marriage. When I jumped from a 10-story building, let me call Larry and confirm. Hello? Guy, what's up? Longest time. Are you done with your wedding? What wedding? Your wedding with Miriam. You're asking us if you don't know about it. I swear, bro, I can't remember planning a wedding with that woman. You called me and invited me to the wedding personally, so what are you saying? I am serious. I was shocked when I saw her on my bed. What? You mean there was no wedding? What kind of question is that? You know how much I love Stella. How can I marry another woman? Thank you, Jesus. You are free finally. How did it happen? I don't understand what you are saying. Was I in bondage before? Yes, you were. Miriam told me I fell from a 10-story building and broke my spinal cord and it affected my brain. That woman is something else. So what about Stella? I have been calling her but her number is off. Do you have any idea where she is? Stella is at home crying her eyes out for you. Miriam told me she left me because of my condition and then left for another man. So you mean you can't remember when you chased her out of your house and want her never to return? What? I did that? Oh my god, I am such a fool. I can't remember anything. It is as if my memories are wiped off. When I see you, I will give you the full gist. For now, I want you to go and make peace with your fiancé. I am so ashamed of myself. I don't think she will forgive me. No, don't say that. Stella will forgive you. She knows you didn't do it intentionally. Can you tell me what happened to me? Don't worry, go and make peace with her first. Then I will tell you everything that had happened. Okay, bro. Thank you very much. I will go and see her now. Yes, the earlier the better. Call me when you are at her place. Okay, I will. Stella, my love, I pray you forgive me for what I did. I will be with you very soon. Joy, what are you doing here? How about what kind of answer is that? It's a question, so answer. Am I not welcomed here anymore? That's not it. I'm suspicious of you. What? Yes, see, I don't know what you were doing in my husband's office. Because of that, I only went there to say hi to him. Just hi? Wait, oh, are you by any means saying I'm hitting on your husband? That's not what I mean. What do you mean then? I mean, tell me if both of you are planning a surprise for me or something. We are not. And if we are, it's not your business, darling. Eh? I'm your best you. Better get me food. I'm starving. Yes, ma. My love. You just called me your love. You have always been my love. This is Stella you're talking to, not Miriam. Don't say that. You have always been the woman after my heart. What is my name? Are you being serious right now? So I don't know who I am talking to. I just want to confirm something. I am talking to Stella. You are alright. How did it happen? I don't know what happened to me. I woke up to see Miriam beside me on my bed. Oh my god, I am so happy. God finally answered my prayers. I guess you can remember everything that happened. 
No, I can't. It was as if I was dead. I can't remember anything. And when I try to force myself, I get a headache. It's okay. I am glad you're okay. I don't even want to remember anything about her. Is it true I fell from a 10-story building? Who told you that? Miriam did. I thought as much. That is a lie. You didn't fall from anywhere. Can you please tell me what happened to me? My love, I can't tell you. It was a horrible experience for me. So I don't want to remember it. It's okay. So how is our wedding preparations going? We don't have much time anymore. So I guess everything is set. Hmm, about that, you can't stop the wedding. I did what? Oh my god, I guess I must have done so many horrible things. Relax, sweetheart, it wasn't your fault and I don't blame you for it. I am really sorry for everything I put you through. I am not offended, I knew right from time it wasn't your fault. So where is Miriam now? I don't know, I should be asking you. I chased her out of my house. She should keep on hiding, because when I get a hold of her, I will strangle her. Calm down, honey. Strangling her won't change the fact that she did what she did. So can we start all over again? Sure. Where should we start from? You will start by proposing to me again. That is not a problem at all. I am so happy you are alright now. Even though I don't know what happened, I am also glad I am alright. Hi, Dad. How are you doing? I'm good. That's nice. And son? Yes. I want to please beg you for something. Okay, what could that be? I want you to forgive Sylvia and move on with the wedding. Which wedding? Is that all you care about? No, that is not what I care about. Oh, yes. You are so blinded by making her mom happy. You want to marry someone who lied to be single just to marry me. But you haven't married her. She didn't cheat inside the marriage now. I am sure you made her date that young man. You don't give her attention she needs oh please i'm out of here caleb you must marry her better learn to forgive babe how far now what are you doing in my house what is the problem? Why are you being harsh with me? I got a call from Larry that your fiancé is okay now. So I decided to come and check for myself. I am not happy with you at all. How could you? How could I what? How could you go around telling people my family problem just because you're privileged to know about it? What are you talking about? I didn't tell anyone. So how did your fiancé know about it? My... my fiancé? So why are you stammering? I'm very sorry. I didn't tell him because I was mocking you. I told him because I was worried. They say two heads are better than one. I thought there could be a way he would help. I am not happy at all. You should have seen the way he said it. As if he literally knows everything about me. But you should have told me instead of ignoring my calls and being rude to me. I am sorry about that. I thought you used it to make fun of me. I would never do that. Babe, that guy doesn't deserve you at all. How do you mean? Could you imagine? When you left to answer your mom's call, your fears started flexing with me. He did what? If you think I am lying to you, go and ask him. Oh my god, why does he keep disgracing me every time? He doesn't have respect for you at all. Which man in his right senses would do that? So are you saying that my fiancé is not in his right senses? Obviously he isn't. Um, Stella, I would appreciate it if you don't insult him. I know what he did was wrong, but it doesn't mean you should insult him. Are you for real? You're still defending him. What do you want me to do? Yes, he's an irresponsible man, but we are engaged to be married. Don't you think it would be a shame if I leave him? Are you listening to yourself? So you are more concerned about what people will say than your happiness. 